In this video, I'm going to show you a guide that's as good as cheese to beat Rolana in the DLC using a crossbow. But well, besides the crossbow, I'll show you a few main things you can equip to make it even easier. The first thing you need to do is use the pulley crossbow because it shoots three bolts in one go. And more importantly, you want to craft the rock bone bolts to apply the scarlet rock. Each individual bolt has a stat of 55 to inflict scarlet rock, so if you land all three hits, that's a total stat of 165, allowing you to apply scarlet rock really fast. The next thing you want to do is summon Mimic, but make sure you have your main sword or weapon equipped first so that Mimic uses this instead of the crossbow. Once you've summoned Mimic, switch to your crossbow and then time your hits to land all three bolts. Once the rot is applied, you'll be buffed up even more if you apply the headgear, talismans and mix physic I'm going to show you soon. And to make this even easier, I'm going to use a katana to apply bleed damage. Specifically I'm using Moon Veil, but any weapon with bleed will speed this up. Another thing I do is parry all the beams and magic swords that she sends and reflect it back to her. You can do this by applying the carrion retaliation ashes of war on your shield. It's an easy way to deal with the beams and do some damage with it instead. The main moves you'll need to evade is the big magic sword attacks that you just saw and the moon attack at the end by just jumping when you first see the moons falling in a downward motion. Now when it's completely safe to do so, get close to it and attack her. I like to use the weapon skill as anything with a bit of range is safer. Now the crucial things you want to equip are first, the mushroom crown headgear if you have it as it raises the attack power when rot is applied. Talismans wise, you want to equip the kindred of rot's exultation to increase the attack power when rot is in the vicinity, the shard of alexander to increase the weapon skill power, the rotten wing sword insignia for the successive attack power bonus and the spell drake talisman to reduce damage from the magic attacks. From here you can just let her rot away or watch Mimic finish the job. As for the mixed physic, I'll be using the tier that increases the stamina recovery speed and I use the magic crack tier to increase the magic attacks but you can change this to the tier that best increases your stats. I'll show my full setup so you can see exactly what I used and if the video helped leave a like and sub for more and I'll see you guys in the next one.